Hey, all this is Sean Gerber again with Reduce Cyber Risk, and you are, this is part of my CISSP exam questions I'm providing for individuals that want to tie into Reduce Cyber Risk. This is RCR Echo, which is exam 006, Domain 2 Asset Security. All right, like I said before, taking the test as a booger. These are great videos to help you understand what is the process around taking these tests. And they also tie in directly with the domains that I put out there, the training I've got on my CISSP training, and it fits in perfectly with what you'll learn. All right, let's get going. All right, the first one is what is protected health information tied to? A, tied to specific individuals. B, tied to individual health information, oral and written and or actually, but and, and written. C, tied to individual health information, written only. Or D, copyright, trade secrets, or trademarks. Again, what is protected health information tied to? Specific individuals, individual health information, oral and written, individual health information, written only, and copyright, trade secrets, and trademarks. The answer is... B, protected information, health information, is protected for individuals in both an oral and written form. Either one. I mean, it can, it can be in both. It can be just if you just have written form and it's protected. If it's in oral form, that can be protected. But bottom line is that anything that's written in or oral, it is protected under PHI. Data classification. What is a typical downside to data classification? A, it's very easy to put into place. Yeah, it sure is. Doesn't require leadership support. That's B. C, requires leadership support. So the first one, the second one is doesn't. This one is requires. Or D, none of the above. And the answer is, again, let's go back real quick. What is a typical downside to data classification? It's very easy to put into place. Hmm. Doesn't require leadership support. Requires leadership support. Or D, none of the above. C is the answer. When classifying data, it is imperative that the leadership is involved and supportive of the project and plan. If you don't have their support, it's just dead on arrival. Ain't going to happen. So you need to have make sure that they are tied into this completely. Data classification is a hard process to accomplish, and it takes a lot of support, and it takes an orchestrated planned event for this to happen. Data classification. What are the criteria to classify data? A. Usefulness of the data. B, value or cost of the data, C, data disclosure, or D, all of the above. Again, what are the criteria to classify data? Usefulness of the data, value or cost of the data, data disclosure, and or D, all of the above. And D is the answer. All the, item, item, a bit of, the items above are criteria designed to classify data. Every single one of them is that. So they, all of those are part of the criteria when you're looking at classifying specific types of data. All right, this is my training. You can check it out at Udemy.com. Again, all of these questions come directly from the training that you could see at Udemy.com. Some great stuff out there. It's extremely reasonable what Udemy puts out. Uh, honestly, it's, it's crazy how inexpensive it is for people to be able to get to it. Again, it's CISSP certification. Sean, S-H-O-N, the uniqueness my parents gave me. Gerber, G-E-R-B-E-R, -E -E just like the knife or the toilet. Yeah. Now let's, let's avoid the toilet one. Let's go with a knife. Knife is cooler. Yeah, let's go with a knife. Or you can go to ReduceCyberRisk.com to my link at uh, CISSP-training, and it will take you to where you need to go on Udemy as well. So I hope you enjoyed it. We'll catch you on the flip side. See ya.